Now that we learned about factors and multiples, we're going to compare and contrast factors versus multiples of a number. So now we're going to compare the factors and multiples of the number 12. Remember, when we're comparing things, we want to see what their similarities are. So first, let's list the factors of 12. Now, factors are numbers that can divide into 12 without having a remainder. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now we can list the multiples of 12. The multiples we can find by starting with the number, in this case 12, and then keep adding that number in. So we just keep adding 12 to the previous number, and that'll list the multiples. Or the other way is to find the product of 12 times 1, then 12 times 2, 12 times 3, and on and on. Now remember, there's an infinite number of multiples, so this list can go on and on forever. But we're just going to stop here at the number 60. So now we want to compare. We want to see what similarities they have. If we look at the list of the factors and multiples, they both include the number itself, the number 12. So we can say that 12 is both a factor and a multiple of itself. In fact, that works for any number. It's going to appear in its list of factors and in its list of multiples. Now let's contrast the factors and multiples of 12. So we list out those factors and multiples, the same list that we had before. But when we're contrasting things, we want to see what their differences are. So we already saw that both lists have the number 12 in common. So let's see what's different about them. Well, basically, all the other numbers are going to be different. So for the factors, we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. None of those will appear as multiples. So that's something that's different. Also, if you notice, that all of those factors, other than the number 12, are going to be smaller than 12. If we look at the multiples, all of the multiples, other than the number 12, are going to be larger than the number. So that's a difference that factors and multiples have from each other. So we can say that aside from the number itself, the factors will always be smaller than the number, and multiples will always be larger than the number. So just to review what we just learned about the similarities and differences of factors and multiples, is that the number that we're focusing on will always be both a factor and multiple of itself. It will appear in both lists. And aside from the number itself, the factors will be smaller than the number, and the multiples will be larger than the number. So this is something that really comes in handy when you're working with factors and multiples, because sometimes it's easy to get them mixed up. So just remember, if it's smaller than the number, it's most likely a factor, and if it's larger than the number, it's most likely a multiple.